In this video, I'm going to cover a quick tip that I hope you'll find extremely helpful, and that is regarding the topic of dual monitor support. It's often requested on the 3D Coat forums, but Andrew has communicated that it's an extremely difficult task in architectural terms. 3D Coat is not alone among CG apps that are tied to one monitor, at least in the sense of moving your panels off to a second monitor. What I want to show in this video is an alternative. So what I want to do is start from the splash screen where I have not yet loaded any assets because this will allow you to stretch the interface much more rapidly. I, I noticed that if I have a pretty heavy scene, then it is much slower to do this, at least in terms of setting it up. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. What I want to do is come to the top and just pull it off and you'll have something like this. So let's kind of line our interface up on the left side. And you should be able to come over to the right hand side and see a little stretch icon. So I'm going to click on that and drag all the way across my second monitor. Okay, I think that's about right. Now I'm going to pause the recording and I'm going to switch my screen to the second monitor. Okay, here we are in our second monitor and you can see that our column is quite stretched, but that's okay. I'm going to collapse that back. And whenever I'm in the paint workspace, I like to go ahead and dock my 2D texture editor. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and load a scene. Here in our second monitor, we have this full space dedicated to painting in 2D. And then we have in our 3D viewport on our first monitor, 3D viewport. Again, this works almost effectively as if I could dock all these panels. I'm going to zoom in and you can see all the real estate we have now to texture paint in. And if I want to invoke my individual palettes, such as the Brush Alphas palette, there are a couple different ways that we could address this. I can bring it a little bit closer if I want by undocking it from the second monitor. I can even dock it right there. Okay, and then I could also move my smart materials the same way. I could dock it inside here or maybe at the bottom. Let's switch to metals. Now, if I like this layout, whenever I leave 3D Coat and come back, it's going to remember this layout. Additionally, I can go to the Windows menu and I can choose Store Workspace. I'll go ahead and dock these back where they were on my second monitor. And I can invoke them with a hotkey, but I first need to assign the brush alphas under pop-ups right here with alphas, I can see there is no hotkey assigned to it. So what I'm going to do is hover over this option. I'm going to hit the end key on the keyboard and then I'm going to use B for brush alphas. Now since the hotkey is already assigned to another tool, it's asking me what do I want to do? Do I want to stack it or redefine it? In this case, I'll just redefine it. Hit the B key. And select my brush. I can click and scroll inside here. Got inertia. Once I move my cursor away, it will disappear from view. Okay, and so you can do that with whichever asset panels you want to. Just assign a hotkey if they are not currently assigned. And then you may want to go ahead and save your hotkeys. So yeah, that's a quick look at expanding your user interface across two monitors, even though there is not explicit dual monitor support. Okay, so I hope you found it helpful. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.